Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? What's this place? I have no idea. It's been so long since we've been here. Ah, yes. So, last time we made iron things. This time we're going to kill a baby. Um, we've made a few improvements to things. Partly this, as you see. Mobs no longer drop anything. Uh, which is great. Um, Ooh. Oh, there goes another baby. Baby death. Um, yes, all the stuff now gets stored underneath and is picked up by hoppers. It's just a very little basic thing with hopper chest, hopper chest, hopper chest, hopper chest, hopper chest, hopper chest, hopper chest. Um, I also shove some hoppers here just to automate the cactus farm and it's doing actually pretty well. It's a bit of a slow and crap farm. But it does what it needs to do. I think I need to do something else with those snowmen. Because... My mic has drooped. Sorry about that interruption for mic drooping corrections. Um, over here we have... Uh, iron, I basically after... Oh, I don't think we've seen the updated version. I watched the video earlier, and I still don't know. There's now a map up here, so we know where the island is. Um, Zion so Farm works fine, as you can see this happens and that crushes them. Um, under the carpet, hoppers still, with chest access and quite a nice bit of... Oh, oh, look, there it is in action. Yes. And a little bit more iron there. Uh... I turned down, I turned down my render distance, didn't I? Ages ago. And now I can see the effects. Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. What was I saying? Something, something. We have iron. Oh, yes! So, I have an empty bucket on me. Ah, oh, ha, ha. Why do you have empty buckets on you? What is bucket for? Well, this bucket... Um... I want to say it's the original bucket. I don't think it is the original bucket, but it may be. Oh, yes, this cobblestone generator. Well, th this lot ties in nicely. Cobblestone generator is now much more efficient as there are hoppers, and it gets all of it. And that gets deposited into this chest. So, some of the older viewers may know that there is lava... In the top of this, in fact, I think if I break this block, all is fine. Yeah. So, this, that is not a source block of lava. There was a bug in 1.5, I think. Um, one of the versions of 1.5, where if you cut off lava with a sign, like so, then the other bit wouldn't go down, and provided I never update that lava, or the, which means no breaking or destroying the blocks around it, it also realistically means some of the other bits of lava, because then it updates the lava prior to it, and etc, etc. Um, provided I never do that, that lava will stay there forever. So I still have my original lava. And uh, this bug has been reintroduced. Um, however, it's not quite as practical as it was before, because it now requires a skull. Yeah, which, apart from the fact that it's a lot easier to make a sign than it is to get a wither skeleton skull, um, it's, they are also vulnerable to lava. And I was testing it out in a creative world, and nine times out of ten, the lava dropped down onto the skull, destroying the skull, and then re-updating everything, which is a shame. However, I'm hoping to get some nice infinite lava in the nether, so that if I ever need to use lava in the nether for whatever reason, I'll be able to, and I'm planning to put it right up high, um, 
I mean, this is this is something that I has been done before in Sky, in Skyblock. Um, as you only have one, you basically let the lava spread out as much as possible with a platform underneath it, and then, well, rinse and repeat. Let it spread out, and you get some good distance from it. Please ignore any sounds of dogs. They are the neighbors. And so as you can see, my near infinite lava. And um, yeah, I'm going to hope I can get this in one. Oh, OK. Going to have to be quick. I think I've done it. I've done it. And I can now get rid of that and that. I can even get rid of that one now. And now I'm going to grab my lava. Um, and destroy this little bit up here. So that is the block that I've just placed. Provided I don't update any block that's next to the lava. All will be fine. Doesn't matter. That's the other problem. The skulls are very easy to destroy as well. well there we go. If we ever need lava, we now have lava. Huzzah! And I deliberately destroyed the block between the lava and this thing first, so I can destroy this if I want to, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. Yeah, just have that sc the magical floating skull of light. In fact, in fact, no, hang on, wait. Yeah, there we go. Yes, we have a thumbnail. And let's get that lava off my hot bar before I kill myself. If you're wondering where I got the skull, by the way, that took. Forever. Oh dear lord, did it take forever. Um, it was really annoying because when Sparks told me about this, he also did lectures and lab coats about it, which will probably be linked in the description if I remember. Um, I then started to go and try and get some with the skeleton skulls from this place over here, which I want to improve at some point, but for now it is adequate. And like... I think like the third skull guy I killed dropped a skull, but a blaze, and as you can see there's a fair few of them, um, at the same time lit up the space with fire where the skull dropped, and the skull was lost for all eternity. And I was not a happy crazy man. Just look how many of them there are. Now, once I get myself an ender chest, I think I'm going to have to put my lava bucket in the ender chest. But now the lava's going... Oh, yes! The lava's going to go back in here. But whilst I'm here, amazing shovel, even better pick. Silk Touch 1. Oh yeah. And I've already put this to good use. I now have some Silk Touch mushrooms because why not? And more importantly, the spare dirt that I have, I exchanged that over uh, for grass, just so that if something bad happens, there you go, all the grass, 12. Uh, if, say, this sheep, wherever he's gone, he's disappeared. Maybe we should name this sheep. But if he gets hungry at any point and just eats all the grass, it's fine, we have backup. Oh, there was something else I was gonna do. These are the reasons my mob sounds are turned down. But we now have another achievement done, 10 fish. That was an achievement to do, 10 cooked fish. It's been a long time since I've tried to go for the original achievements. Um, actually, 
Let's do an update on those original achievements. Let's see how many of them I've done. Be right back. I should have thought this through slightly better. Take that, we don't need that. It's so quiet with all the sounds turned down. It's great! Well. Come here. Screw you, guy. I'm gonna just send my chicken and leave. I checked. It looks like that uh, there is two more achievements to get from the original uh, Skyblock things. One is to build a house, and the other is to get ten Ender Pearls. Does that count as a house? It has a bed in it. And furnaces and chicken. Everyone has house chicken, right? To everyone at home, I'm terribly sorry. Something happened that has never happened before. Um, I got distracted and went to do something else. And um, anyway, now I'm back. And in case I didn't say it, I can't remember if I did. The only two things I have left to do is make a house and get ten ender pearls, and then I'll have completed Skyblock. Um, close. Close, please. No. That one closes. Fine. This one was open before I started recording as well. I think it's got a dodgy hinge. There we go. I do also have another Wither Skeleton Skull, and I am tempted to make another lava thing in the overworld as well. Oh, my cactus farm is doing great. Actually, let's see if I have any redstone from the mobs. Let's grab some eggs. Yay, eggs! Eat this chicken. You know what we should probably do? <gasps> oh god, we have seven redstone. Only two glowstone, but seven redstone. Ooh, very nice. We're getting closer to a stack. I just don't understand it, guys. It's never happened before, and then twice, twice in an episode. I got distracted and started doing other things. This is terrible. So, so terrible. But, on the plus side, while I was distracted, I managed to get some more lovely things done. Yes, 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 yes. And we're going to see something incredible. Uh, where are we going? We're going up this ladder. This ladder. Do you remember what this ladder is or is for? Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> We're going to go up the ladder if it loads in ever. Here we go. Down. And up. Down. And up. Mm, that was c close. Um, so, yes, what's this thing I hear you say? Yes, I hear you say it. Yes, yes, you say, you say, you say it. No, okay. Well, I'm sad now. Lava goes there. Things go bad. So this is going to be just like the thing below, except in the overworld. Yes! And because things don't flow as far in the overworld, we need stuff. And I've realized I've left the other Wither Skull back down there. So, um, yeah. Whee! 
Ow. Where did I put it? Here it is. By the way, I got some more redstone. Yay! Isn't it beautiful? Magical floating lava. Let's make it even more magical. And even more floaty for that matter. Uh, yes, okay. So, I want to put that there. And then, look above it. Yes! More magical floaty lava. You can go. You can go. And all this can go. Um, I think I'm going to leave this here just in case I ever need, need it. That guy's hat's going to stay there until it despawns. Uh, we now have infinite lava. Well, I say infinite. We now have lava wherever we want it. More or less, kind of. We just have to build a lot of stuff around it. We now have lava in the... Oh, we could build... We could break a hole, couldn't we? Um, yeah. I'll build on going up if I can ever be bothered. But we now have lava in the overworld, in the nether, in that thing, and in our bucket. Oh, baby. Um, Let's put it there for now. It's probably safer than in the nether, in all honesty. So the other thing I did was... I created a slime farm. Look at all the stuff down there. Do you know what all that stuff is? No? I'm not surprised. That is all hoppers. Yes. Four stacks of hoppers. Why? Because I am lazy. Which kind of doesn't really make sense because that's a lot of stuff. In fact, I didn't have enough wood um, to make the four stacks of chests needed for the four stacks of hoppers. Which um, is 20 stacks of iron ingots. Which is a lot, as it turns out. It's... Um, A bit over two stacks of iron blocks. What was I looking for? I was looking for something, 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 something. Ladders. That's what I need. I am almost completely out of wood. Where can I get things to make ladders with? Beautiful witch drops. <gasps> Even more beautiful witch drops. Oh, they are so lovely. All these witches. Not more sticks, more, more ladders! Yes! More ladders! The tiny one's just not viewable. Or are those that... This game confuses me from time to time. Anyway, I'm back. Did you miss me? Yeah. What's that? No, you didn't miss me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's make the ladder back up because then I'll finally have a way up and down this thing. Which will be great. This is this is why we need the ladders, by the way. This is why we needed the ladders. We sploosh. Oh, listen to all the fapping. So, I made an incredible discovery at one point. By I made, I mean, I noticed during Quick Place Blocks Season 
whatever the one most recent was where I was with Torbray and Red, that Iron Golems attacked something and didn't take damage from him. I have a feeling it wasn't slimes that they were attacking. But maybe it was. I can't remember. Go watch the video and then you'll know. Um, you'll have to search high and low for it. It's on my channel, it's on Torbridge's channel, it's on Red's channel. At least I think it's on Red's channel, I'm fairly sure he released. Don't think he had any mess ups. Oh dear lord. Right. There we go. And um, I noticed that the Iron Golems weren't taking damage and yet still killing things. So I decided it would probably be worth my while seeing if this was the case with slimes. It may have been slimes that they were killing for all I know. And lo and behold, it is the case with slimes, which is great. Um... Because, initially with this slime farm, yeah, and also they spawn on hoppers, which is another very important thing. So, initially, I had this platform. What was going to happen is the slimes are going to eventually go to the side, go to the bit where I've just come up. I was going to use that lava trick. I was going to bring some lava down, cut them down from the big ones to the little ones, get the little ones in a one-by-one -one thing to climb all the way up the ladder, where I could then easily kill them and maybe even push them onto a hopper so they'd die on a hopper and all would be good and it would just instantly collect for me. And I haven't done that because it's dull and tedious to do. Instead, what I've done is collected hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ingots of iron, um, made four stacks and chopped down hundreds and hundreds of trees, made four stacks of iron uh, four stacks of hoppers plus enough extra iron to make two iron golems covered a spawn platform entirely in hoppers making sure that they all point so they all eventually go to this corner here and then yeah 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 then I'm just going to let it play out, let it do its thing. One iron golem. Second iron golem. Oh, I should name these guys. Chalk and cheese. Uh, these were the names of the iron golems that protected our villagers and did a horrible, horrible, horrible job when Sparks killed all the villagers. Um... They were the ones who let Carol escape, and it's funny, he's attacking nothing, because you can't see the baby slimes. Okay. Oh, well, there goes my sword. I'm going to leave the water down here as well. Oh, you can see there, there's lights underneath the hoppers, and it shines through. So, um, I'm going to need to make sure I get these the right way around. I separated them for this very fact. Right. So, chalk. And... Cheese. There we go. We now have chalk and cheese. Two guys. I'm going to say are the same ones from the ALP world. Season 1. Who did a terrible, terrible job. Um, are now here working for me. I have so many ideas for the name of this episode. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to go with, but there are just so many good ideas. And I have... The Return of Chalk and Cheese. The... Um, oh, let's let's close this off. The floating skulls of lava, or something like that. The magical skulls of infinite lava. The magical floating skulls of infinite lava, that was it. Um, 
tempted to just break this up into two episodes just so I can have two titles. Fire and slimes. Or lava and slimes. Slime farm finally fucking complete. You know, so many names. So, so many names. And bearing in mind, we've got a stack and a half almost. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, look at that. Look at them. Look at them go. Oh, yes, yes. I've seen a problem. Chalk and cheese are a little bit too enthusiastic. I'm kind of low on blocks at the moment, but I may add another ring or two around the top of that just so they don't fling all their prey over. But, um, it's fine. It's dealable. We can work with it. It's good for now. And then hopefully this way, when 1.6 finally gets released, we'll have plenty of slime so we can play around with slime blocks. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Anyway, I have a feeling that this episode is going to be getting on for quite a long one now. Um, so I'm going to end it here. Next time, next time, next time, next time, leave a comment. What do you want me to do next? Do you want me to do a nice, automated uh, chicken farm slash cooker slash thingy um, which would be very nice because it would mean that I wouldn't have to worry about food which is beginning to become a pain in the ass. do you want me to do an automatic fishery so I can fish 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 hopefully get some more name tags and maybe we can even name the sheep with one of the other name tags that I'd have to fish out I don't know where the sheep has gone. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, yes, sheepy. Mm -hmm. Um, or do you want me to do something else entirely? Which I had another idea of something I wanted to do, but I can't remember now. Or misc. I can't remember what misc is. So yeah, we have. Oh, I guess I could set up a breeding cell for villagers. Okay. Or I could just try and get enough name tags to name all these no or do you, okay leave your comment what would you rather see next ah i've remembered i've remembered i remembered the other thing okay so this isn't take a hundred or anything like that we just we, we're just rolling with it we're rolling with it if if this episode ends up being three hours long as a result because i can't say words good in orders that work Next episode, what do you want to see? Automated chicken thingy. Automated ice farm collectory thing to make it into a big cube that I can then just destroy. More automated gold farm. Finish the original design for the slime farm. Which actually I may go against. Or the automated um, fishing, AFK fishing point. Which one of those sounds more interesting? If I've mentioned another one that I missed off that list, feel free to say it. If you have any ideas, I think I have enough as it is already, but thank you very much for your contributions. Uh, fuck, this episode is going way too long. See you next time. Bye.